This, my friends, this is a memory test. But it's not a memory test for President Biden. It's a memory test for all of America. Do we remember fascism? Do we remember Nazism? Do we remember communism and totalitarianism? Have we completely forgotten the sacrifices of our parents and grandparents in prior generations? Well, we play pin the tail on the donkey in this wild goose chase all of these silly games, Donald Trump entertains authoritarian hustler Viktor Orban at Mar-a-Lago for the weekend, and Orban comes out to declare that if we indeed sleepwalk into another Trump presidency, Trump will, quote, not give a, simple pen, a single penny to Ukraine. That's what all of this is about. It's about trying to pull the wool over the eyes of America because the tyrants and dictators of the world are on the march today. So who wins with this ludicrous, embarrassing spectacle? Orban wins. Putin wins. She wins. The tyrants of the world win. They have one more reason to celebrate Donald Trump and his cult followers, who've completely lost their way. They're looking for high crimes and misdemeanors. Now they appoint themselves amateur memory specialists, and that's what they pounce on the President of the United States about. America faces a choice between democracy and tyranny. And the president laid it out at Valley Forge, and he laid it out in the State of the Union. Will America stand on the side of people struggling against fascist aggression? Will we stand with the people of Ukraine against Vladimir Putin, whose filthy war has meant the kidnapping of thousands of Ukrainian children, the murder, the slaughter of thousands of Ukrainian civilians, and the attack on an independent sovereign democracy? But we're not working on that today. We're not standing up for democracy and human rights and international law around the world. No, we're trying to play uh, memory detectives to parse the language of a president who the whole world got to see at the State of the Union address direct, directly address the real questions of our time. And it is democracy versus dictatorship. And all of the autocrats and the theocrats all of the kleptocrats of the world are together in league against American democracy, and we have to stand up for American democracy against these stupid games. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.